We are continuing our coverage of that deadly home explosion in Jefferson Township in Lackawanna County. News Watch 16's Adithia Iyer has been at that scene all day. We check in with him now. Adithia. Lisa, as you can see behind me, crews are still cleaning up some of the debris that was left behind by the explosion of the house in Jefferson Township. Now, just moments ago, we just received confirmation that one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition, and we don't know what the word on the other person that was found in the house is, but we do know, however, that the Lackawanna County Coroner's Office was called. Now, emergency crews responded to the home on Mount Cobb Road just after two this afternoon. They found rubble and debris strewn across the neighborhood. Now, when I arrived at shortly around 2.30, I saw dozens of police cruisers and multiple fire engines and fires were burning on the front lawn and parts of the home were collapsed in. I spoke to a neighbor who says he was in his backyard mowing his lawn when he heard the blast. Ran next door, the gals over there, their kids, they're right over here. They called 911. I had some people doing construction on my house, so we ran over there, and there was a guy we know still alive at the time, but then flames shot up like 15 feet, so we backed off, and then that's when people first started getting here. A construction worker tells us he heard the explosion and immediately rushed over to see what happened, and he heard someone inside the house. He says he and two other bystanders were trying to help, but had to leave because the house started to heat up. Now, we're still waiting for some more information from first responders. Earlier today, we had gotten some information that the fire marshal here on the scene would issue a press release, and I apologize for the sound behind me, but we did, really, we did hear some more that there was going to be a press release tomorrow morning, which would give us some more information about the, the victim in the house, uh, how, many were, were, how many were injured, how many may have passed away in this in this tragedy, but we'll have more information here on the scene. And we're going to be here a little bit more to see what happens here today. Aditya Iyer, Newswatch 16, reporting live from Lackawanna County. Still an active scene there. Dithia, thank you for that report. Our live team coverage continues now with Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin. He was nearby when one person was flown to the hospital. Jack, what's the latest? Lisa, so that section of Route 348 where Adithia is right now is still closed and that is closed in both directions as emergency crews are still actively on the scene as we saw. Right now, we're about a mile away. We're standing outside of the Jefferson Township Volunteer Fire Company where earlier today, one of the victims in this house explosion was taken into a medical helicopter that landed here earlier this afternoon. We were here once that victim was loaded into the rear of the chopper. That person was then flown to a nearby hospital. Investigators have not released any information about the victim's identity or their condition. Again, at this time, that section of Route 348 is still closed. Police anticipate that closure will go on as crews work to clear the debris from that home explosion earlier today. But for now, Jack Culkin, Newswatch 16, live in Lackawanna County.